If you're watching this video, chances are you are stuck or you simply want to get out of your current rank. In fact, the statistics show that 95% of players are between Iron and Platinum and that Diamond is restricted to only 3% or less of the player base. But with League being out for 10 years, players have played this game for several years now and even with tons of educational videos, VODs, pro streams and tools out there, why aren't you getting better at League of Legends? As a Diamond coach myself, I have coached players that were stuck for years trying to figure out what it actually takes to be good at League of Legends. I've realized that most of the player base doesn't know how to practice and keep making progress consistently, which is why they get stuck in the first place. In this video, I'm gonna share with you three key elements that can help you improve at League and get to a higher rank this season. Keep watching. The first problem is the idea that you will get better just by playing more games, which is not always the case. How many friends have you seen that just grind out hundreds or maybe thousands of games but they just don't seem to get any better? Long-term repetition has been shown to have negative correlation with skill. In fact, there is research in other fields suggesting that experience only correlates to skill up to a certain point. But then, as experience increases, your skill decreases, or at best, it stays the same. This systematic review of 62 medical studies found that physicians with more years of experience ironically proved to have worse performance providing healthcare than those with less years of experience. This makes sense in League as well. For example, when you are first learning the game, everything is very new and your brain is working at its full capacity to learn new champions, abilities, items and general game objectives so your progress at the beginning is very high. But when you've been playing for some time and you've already learned all the basic concepts to a point where you can comfortably play the game, your brain is no longer paying attention to specific aspects of performance that probably require improvement, which is what causes your progress to stop dead. Noticing this is crucial if you want to keep making progress. In fact, League of Legends doesn't have a progress bar to see where we are at in our learning process or when did we stop to improve. Yes, we have the ranking system, but that doesn't allow us to indicate how far we are in our learning journey or what is the next thing we have to practice in order to keep climbing. For that reason, we have to rely on our own analysis and research to come up with training programs that are efficient and allow us to keep making progress. So the first key element to be able to keep improving at League is to keep track of your progress. So how do you do this? You need to keep track of your progress objectively. You can't just look at yourself and compare to your friends for example and use that as a signal to know how you're doing. You need to be objective about it and monitor your progress somehow. Whether that is by writing it down on an Excel or looking at your OBGG stats. But you need to look at your data, you need to understand where are you failing or what are you struggling with. It could be your CS per minute or maybe you are dying too much in game. Whatever it is, but you can't just ignore this step or you risk getting into your comfort zone and not pushing yourself in areas where your performance is lacking. In fact, let me know guys on the comments down below. Do you currently keep track of your progress? And if so, how do you do it? What tool are you using? I will leave you in the description the link to this Excel so you can make a copy of it and use it to keep track of your performance. However, there is things that you can't necessarily find in your stats alone. Like for example, how good are you at looking at your minimap or how well do you trade? These are things you can't find in your stats directly by looking at them. So you need to put aside time to assess how well you are doing on these areas by looking at your replays or asking for external feedback whether it's from a professional coach or a friend. After you started keeping track of how you're doing, you will quickly notice many flaws in your performance. This is the time to set goals and practice. And when choosing what to focus on first, try to first focus on areas of your performance that are important and contribute the most. I see a lot of players trying to focus on very niche and tricky stuff like some rare combos or mechanics you rarely put to use during game. 
Mechanics are important, of course, but you need to understand that no matter how good you are mechanically, if you're making key mistakes in your decision making, that needs to be fixed first in order for you to be able to actually get something out of your mechanics. So first, find what are your key mistakes and biggest flaws as a player and focus on practice them first. There are many ways to practice, but I recommend you apply the most effective and only scientifically proven way of practicing, deliberate practice. Backed up by strong scientific research, deliberate practice was coined by professor and psychologist Anders Ericsson and it's been used in many highly competitive fields like chess, medicine, music, typing, and even economics. Ben Hogan, considered one of the greatest players in history of golf and credited for inventing practice, used very similar principles to the one Ericsson discussed in Deliberate Practice. Essentially, deliberate practice consists of the following. Having clear and specific goals. Improvement is much greater when it's specific, not general. This means if you go into practice with a general idea, like, okay, I want to improve my team fighting, and then you hop into game, you will pretty much not improve anything at all. You need to break down each fundamental into small chunks and practice them independently. Intense and focused practice sessions. Your practice should be focused and without autopilot. Mindlessly playing the game will not lead to improvement. You need to remain focused on your goal for the entire practice session. Modifying your efforts in response to feedback. If you see that you're getting burned out with your current practice schedule, maybe put less hours into playing and more hours into watching VOD. You want to use your inner feedback to assess how much effort you should put into your practice. You want to avoid burnout, but not to the point where you reach boredom. Constantly being taken out of your comfort zone, which will force you to adapt and come up with new ways to improve. This means not settling with your current performance. If you've noticed, challenger players are always looking for small things to improve on. They never settle. Even the best players like Dopa or Faker are always looking for mistakes or ways to improve their performance. Okay, let's apply deliberate practice to League. Let's say that you want to improve your team fighting. You first need to break it down into smaller chunks. So we could say, okay, from the fundamental of team fighting, I have several things I can practice, like peeling, engaging, target prioritization, keeping track of abilities and summoner spells, keeping track of active items, etc. So after figuring out all the little aspects of team fighting, you will then proceed to write them down in your Excel and start to practice them each one at a time. Next, you want to set up a practice environment. You need to create your learning zone. This means having a time of the week where you only focus on practice and other where you focus on climbing. This will help your brain identify when you're in the learning zone and when you're in the performance zone. As a general rule, when you're in the performance zone, you're focused on winning this exact game. But when you're on the learning zone, your mindset needs to be completely different. Your risk taking and experimenting will go up since you're practicing, which will help you to push your limits and improve effectively. This is why you need to define your learning zone. Your learning zone could be a smurf account where you don't care so much about winning, or going into flex queue or practicing on normal games. Also, the practice tool will be very useful for practicing specific combos or mechanics. I have a detailed video on deliberate practice, so I suggest you go watch that one if you want to know how to practice in the most effective way possible. The last step is having the proper mentality for improving. League is a game where up to a certain point it's hard to see your progress. This is why I encourage you to keep track of your progress through external ways like an Excel. This will help you have a sense of progression which can motivate you to keep pushing yourself and be consistent with your practice. I see a lot of players getting frustrated because they don't know if they are progressing or not. They only see their LP going up and down, but they don't see whether they are getting better or not. So keeping track of your progress will help your mental state a ton. Having a growth mindset instead of a fixed one can also have a very positive effect on your long-term improvement in league. 
A growth mindset is essentially believing that your abilities and knowledge can be developed over time with learning and persistence. On the other hand, a fixed mindset is believing that your traits are fixed and can be improved. A person with a fixed mindset will always try to hide their weaknesses and look for shortcuts in order to appear more skilled. Generally, they will blame their genetics for both their failures and successes, but won't look to improve much further. However, a person with a growth mindset will thrive on challenges and see failures not as an evidence of being bad, but rather as an opportunity for further improvement. Never accept your current skill level, guys. Always keep looking for ways to improve. Alright, we've covered a lot in this video. Let's make a quick summary of the key points to take away. First, keep track of your progress, through an Excel or other external ways, to be able to see where you're at in your learning process and what you need to improve on next. Set goals and use feedback. Deliberate practice. After identifying in which areas are you lacking, divide it into smaller chunks and set up goals to practice each one at a time. Your practice should be specific, not general. Mentality. Understanding the learning versus climbing zone will allow you to practice more effectively and also adopting a growth mindset, which will help you see failures as opportunities for further improvement and avoid thinking in a fixed way about your current skills. I encourage you to comment down below in the comment section what has been your experience so far trying to improve in league. I'm always very curious to see how people are practicing. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more educational content for League, like the video if you've enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next one.